okay so here we are with Moodle as you can see we are logged in as the course creator Dr. Mahendra Kumar Sahu what we are going to do here today is to show how to upload a question bank into uh, Moodle so you are logged in as site administration dashboard and uh, we will go into courses manage courses and categories the course we are after is inter, uh, is industrial relations and labor laws which is an elective course so we'll click on elective courses and once it expands find our course from the list there it is industrial relations and labor laws one click on it and go to view and open up our course now once the course is opened up we can see that our quiz has been added but there is no questions uh, behind it so we need to add the question bank for this one we'll go to the cog menu click on it and once the drop down opens right at the very end there's more with a cog icon again click on it there we are at the course administration of industrial relations and labor law so we are making sure that we are at the right place scroll down to the part of the question banks there's a categories now here are the default categories that Koha uh, sorry the Moodle has already set it up we are going to add a new category for our uh, particular question bank for the particular quiz so this is how we do it this is the default so we always should go for the top so right under the top level we'll name it quiz underscore zero one uh, it can be zero one to 99 so that we'll get a namespace of 99 quizzes why we are doing it like this we are doing it like this because uh, it helps sorting it easier rather than doing it one two three four which will not get properly sorted in ASCII order so quiz underscore zero one and then we add the mnemonic q bank to identify it as a question bank one more thing to do before can we can leave the screen so we are adding the id number quiz underscore zero one add category that's it done there we have it so we'll click on our newly created category and we need to upload which basically is the import option so click on import we will be using the moodle xml format which we've already created uh, before we jump to the actual upload the one word of caution this is must uh, go into the generals tab uh, make sure we are in the right import category which we are quiz underscore zero one and must must ensure that we switch it off the get category from file because we don't have it in our file most of the cases if you have it then you can keep it if you don't then remove it error if grade is not listed grade is added and stop on error stop on error is good thing because if there's an error in a file it will halt and let us rectify it rather than upload a bunch of garbage so here we are uploading it select the file the file is already ready they can see it's an xml file and we can upload it license all we change the license we can also change the author uh, by default this will show the name of the person whose login we are using so we just leave it as it is for now and upload the file so click on upload there is it's there now everything is set you can click on import and import our file there, there there you have it so all 44 questions that were in the file and has been up uploaded as a question bank uh, quiz underscore zero one q bank uh, now we must carefully look for a couple of things like whether double quotes and single quotes and uh, apostrophe marks are correct or not their double quotes have been rendered correctly because these are restricted characters in XML 
so they need to be escaped properly and we had escaped it in the XML file here we are seeing that they have been rendered correctly as proper HTML rendering because instead of uh, double quotes what we set up is ampersand sign Q U O T semicolon and that has been replaced by the actual sign so the apostrophe search your yeah, governments that is there yes apostrophe is also it is ampersand sign a p o s semicolon that too has been rendered correctly okay and you can click on continue so basically your quiz question bank has been added for the quiz show all 44 this is our, all our 44 questions if you want to see how the questions have been set up or individual the, whether the answers have been set up correctly we can always do that how well we can click on the edit next to a question go into preview there you have it the question fill in the correct responses so by doing that we will know that yeah we have actually loaded the correct answer as well not just the question the question is correctly set up or not we can we can do this to check it now we're going to close the preview so and go click on back yeah there we are so a question bank is now set up I will go back to our course that is international relations and level law one I'm going to the question quiz as you can see uh, no questions have been added so we just added the question bank it was not there before it has been added now uh, so we will click on edit quiz now here is one thing the faculty concern professor Gunn wanted uh, a randomized set of 10 questions from this 44 so that's why we will select ran add random we need to select our question bank correct question bank for the quiz that is quiz underscore zero one we selected yeah number of random questions she wanted was 10 so we just use the slider and set it to 10 right so questions matching this filter is 44 so out of this 44 students will randomly get 10 questions as they try the quiz so random quiz been set up for 10 questions as you can see marks for each is one because that was already there in XML file therefore the total maximum grade is 10 we can get uh, 10 marks that too is correct we just want to shuffle now what is this shuffle uh, basically that the order of the question in this section will be shuffled for each different student so shuffle we click and we click on save quiz setup as required go back to our course take a look the quiz there we have it it is no longer says edit quiz or questions not available it says preview quiz you can run a preview run a run a pretest and do all that so that's all about it uh, thank you very much for watching have a nice day